All right, what's going on, wrestling fans? Brian here with a quick recap of what went down on the Go Home Show of Impact Wrestling before this Sunday's huge Rebellion event. Of course, Rebellion this Sunday in just three days, live on pay-per-view, and as they announced, it will also be on PlayStation um, here in the United States and around the world. Um, of course, headlined, headlining this Sunday's event will be the champion versus champion, title versus title matchup between the AEW World Champion Kenny Omega and the and the Impact Unified World Champion Rich Swan, um, plus a bunch of other matches. So heading into tonight's episode, what would go down on the Go Home Show before Rebellion this Sunday? So uh, let's get things started um, on the uh, before the Impact uh, pre-show. Or on the on the pre-show before these uh, tonight's episode, we saw Mad Ma um, was it no Petey Williams defeating Falaba and Madman Fulton in a three-way. Of course, all three men representing uh, Petey Williams was representing uh, Josh Alexander. Madman Fulton was uh, representing Ace Austin, the X Division champion. And of course, Fala Bob was representing his his good friend TJP. Uh, those three men, TJP, Josh Alexander, and Ace Austin, will compete in a triple threat match with Ace Austin's X Division Championship on the line this Sunday at Rebellion. Uh, so Petey Williams picking up the win in that one. Uh, we saw the Good Brothers, who have an opportunity to bring home the Impact World Tag Team Championships this Sunday as they challenge Finn Juice, uh, that being uh, David Finley and Juice Robinson. Uh, and they were in action tonight as they took on uh, DK and the Good Brothers picking up the win over DK of Black Tarus and Crazy Steve in tag team action. Afterwards, they would send a clear-cut message to Finn Juice that they are not going to make mistakes this time. Uh, coming up this Sunday, they're not going to make the same mistake. Um, that they're not going to take these two lightly. Uh, the question heading into Sunday, will the Good Brothers be able to, to regain the Impact World Tag Team Championships? We will find out this Sunday night. Uh, throughout the show... Uh, throughout the, the show tonight, they had a lot of different Impact Wrestling uh, superstars and interviewer uh, giving their predictions as to who will walk out as AEW and uh, Unified Impact World Champion. And mostly, it was mostly all Impact Wrestling superstars, um, excluding the Good Brothers who picked Kenny Omega to win on Sunday. A lot of them went with the underdog of that match, Rich Swan, to walk out as double champion. Um, so that is going to be interesting to see how that match turns out this Sunday. Uh, we saw a video hype or hyping the upcoming eight-man tag team match involving Violent by Design, that being Eric Young, Rhino, Diener, and Joe Doring, as they, they'll be taking on this Sunday. The Cowboy James Storm, Chris Sabin, Willie Mack, and Eddie Edwards. Um, in the main event of tonight's episode, Eric Young took on Eddie Edwards in a in a uh, in a match. So, and I'll get to that just uh, in just a moment. Uh, we saw Tennille Dashwood, who is the number one contender to the Knockouts Championship, and she will get her opportunity to become champion as she will challenge Diana Perrazzo, the Virtuosa. This Sunday at Rebellion in another huge title match. Uh, she took on Susan in one-on-one -on -one competition. And Tennille Dashwood defeated Susan tonight on Impact. Building momentum heading in to the championship match coming up this Sunday when she challenges Deanna Perrazzo for the Knockouts title. 
she, her and Diana would go face to face after the match with Tennille saying she's walking out this Sunday with the championship. Um, will that happen? Uh, only time will tell. Uh, we heard from Brian Myers, who has a big matchup as well, as he will be taking on his former best friend, Matt Cardona, this Sunday at Rebellion. Um, as I mentioned throughout the show, they were doing um, a lot of ti uh, predictions for the title versus title match between Omega and Rich Swan. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the Impact Wrestling superstars going with the home, the home boy, going with the home guy, Rich Swan. Uh, with the exception of the Good Brothers, who, of course, are going with their good friend, Kenny Omega, to walk out uh, with both championships. Uh, we heard from Sammy Callahan, who cut a promo about Trey Miguel. Um, of course, these two will do battle this Sunday at Rebellion in a last man standing match, a match that I really um, I cannot wait to see. Uh, there are a couple of matches on this show Sunday that I cannot wait to uh, see who walks out victorious. Uh, we saw Shira in action as he took on Jake Something. Um, and with the help of Rohit Raju, uh, Shira was able to defeat Jake Something. And um, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about anybody out there. But I, when I listen to Jake Something's theme song, uh, maybe it's just me, but I kind of hear... Um, Hardcore Holly's old theme song uh, when in WWE, when he was in WWE, that, you know, that that the the beginning part of Hardcore Holly's theme song, it's like Jake something has a slow version in the beginning of his theme song that actually sounds like Hardcore Holly's um, old theme song in WWE. But uh, moving on, uh, we heard from Trey Miguel who sent a message to uh, Sammy Callahan ahead of this Sunday. Uh, we saw an X Division title three-way video hype, uh, hyping up the upcoming uh, X Division title three-way between Josh Alexander, TJP, and the champion Ace Austin. Uh, we heard from the Unified Impact World Champion, Rich Swan, who called out Kenny Omega ahead of Sunday's event. Uh, Kenny and Don Callis would appear on the Tron. Uh, they were not at the Impact Zone um, tonight, but Kenny Omega, of course, uh, basically hyping himself up. Don Callis doing the same, saying that Kenny's walking out with all the gold this Sunday at Rebellion. Then Moose would make an appearance. We have not seen Moose in the last couple of weeks since Sacrifice where he lost the title unification match to Rich Swan. Of course, the unification match was between Moose and Rich Swan at Sacrifice, I believe it was last month, for both the Impact World title and the TNA World title that was held by Moose. Um, and of course, Rich Swan was victorious in that one, and that's how we got to this uh, title for title matchup coming up this Sunday between Rich Swan and Kenny Omega with the AEW World Title and the Unified Impact World Championship on the line. And Moose made his return, as I mentioned, and he basically told Rich Swan that if you better not lose those titles or there will be serious consequences coming from Moose to Rich Swan. So Rich Swan has a lot of pressure on his shoulder, on his on his back. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. Walking into this Sunday's huge title for title matchup against Kenny Omega, with both the AEW and the Unified Impact World Championship on the line. And uh, will it be enough? Will Rich Swan prove all the doubters wrong that he will? that he can beat Kenny Omega and walk out with both titles. We'll have to wait and see on Sunday. Uh, we saw another predictions for the title for title match. We saw a Taylor Wilde uh, video uh, um, um, hyping up her return to Impact Wrestling. 
Uh, we saw Jordan Grace take on one half of the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Champions, Kira Hogan. Of course, this Sunday at Rebellion, uh, Fire and Flava, Kira Hogan, and Tasha Steeles will defend the Knockouts Tag Team titles against Jordan Grace and a mystery partner. And we found out tonight who that mystery partner is going to be, as it will be the daughter of the Hall of Famer, the legendary Precious Paul Ellering, Rachel Ellering, um, made her debut in Impact Wrestling tonight, helping out Jordan Grace after Jordan won the match over Kira Hogan via disqualification. Of course, Jazz, uh, last week, uh, retired, and she told Jordan Grace that she had a partner in mind when this tag title match was made last week. So, um, how will... Uh, Jordan Grace and uh, Rachel Ellering fare against the ta uh, Knockouts Tag Team Champions Fire and Flava this Sunday night. We will have to wait and see. Um, we heard from the Impact World Tag Team Champions Finn Juice cutting a promo about uh, their title defense coming up on Sunday against the Good Brothers. Uh, we saw a title uh, versus t the main event. Video hype package recapping the events, what led up to this uh, matchup. And of course, in the main event, it was Eric Young facing Eddie Edwards, and Eric Young was victorious um, heading in to this Sunday's eight man tag team match with Violent by Design taking on Cowboy James Storm, Eddie Edwards, Chris Sabin, and Willie Mack. And, that, and then afterwards, the all eight men were brawling, and that is how Impact went off the air tonight. So, an overall, a decent show, decent go-home show before this Sunday's um, Impact Re um, Rebellion event. Um, I'll probably have my predictions probably up some kind, sometime Saturday night. Um, so, uh, that pretty much wraps this video up. Like I said, I thought it was a good episode of Impact tonight. A uh, lot, lot build up to Rebellion this Sunday. So with that being said, if you guys watched tonight's episode of Impact Wrestling, uh, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. And let me know what your predictions are for this Sunday's uh, main event between Kenny Omega and Rich Swan with both the AEW World Title and Unified Impact World Championship on the line. Who do you guys see walking out this Sunday with both titles? Uh, leave in the comments below. This has been my Impact Wrestling recap for tonight's episode. As always, I am Brian, and I will see you next time. See ya.